Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. Caleb Sturgis now to do the honors and get us started. And we are underway from the Superdome. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. across the 43 extra yards to the 43 a nice run there nine yards and it'll be second down if these kinds of lanes are available you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground yeah you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step and that's a big pickup right there on first down 145 145 they'll set up a throw they'll try and set up the screen it's complete and he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. Tough running there, that's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Champ Bailey in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And the offense now will try to regroup after the sack on second down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that is going to be incomplete. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. There goes Melvin Gordon. Touchdown, New Orleans. Melvin Gordon, 57 yards. And the Saints have taken the early lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit the concentration level may not have been there i agree with you on that one because those types of plays when they result like that they're almost like big bolts of lightning aren't they whoosh and off he goes fielded about a yard deep and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line and now back out comes the offense 
And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold them to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Nine yards still remaining here to pick up the first on second down. The handoff as they run the counter play. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of two, now third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now, remember, they were unsuccessful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth, they're going to try a second time. They're going to try and throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Carter. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. And, partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and long there at this stage in the game, but you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the coach is trending right now. All right, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. People are wondering what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive in camp. Got a man, it's Cooks. Touchdown, New Orleans. Brandon Cooks from 17 yards out. And the Saints now at six to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Sturgis out now to kick this one off. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let him outside where they can really shred your defense. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They're staring up at a third and nine to start it out. Back to throw here. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Carter. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run... Not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. 
I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The offense stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And it's a fumble. And he will at least be able to fall on it himself, but it was fourth down, and the possession changes. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing... Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game. It's going to be something over the middle. Caleb Paul. Oh, that is a user pick. Let's go. Oh, man. I, I, I can't believe he threw that. Come on. Setting the blitz. That can't be open. There it is. Hooper just nicely catches it. All right. Cover two. There should not be anything open. There should be anything open. open. Square. You go up field. Yeah. Again. Yeah. What's up? Holy cow. What's up? Hmm. I invited you to address the situation that I've been heard that's going on. What they told me to address it, so I'm going to be addressing it. And what's the situation? Is it, I'm aware that you are talking to a freshman. Is that true, Jovan? No, I'm not talking to a freshman. She's just a friend, motherfucker. No, I don't know why you're talking to me like that. I was just told. Jose? George, what's up, man? What's that pussy bit me? Oh my guys, George here. Look at George. How you doing? Fine, right. right, back up from the microphone. Fight me. Am I even close to you? No. Oh. What the fuck? Where did you go, man? You right behind me? Are you about to lap me? No. Joe, did you do your track, track, track me? me? I have no track. What did you bring your whole track, track suit for? What are you talking about? I just wear the jacket, so I don't have to wear a North Carolina Civic shirt. Cause you needed easy access to reap that little girl. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking god. What's wrong with this pussy's mic? Yeah, he I cannot hear you, bro. I hope What's you the fucking hear you. deal with me talking to a freshman? Is it like a huge fucking problem? You're a senior. senior. Okay. Damn, you fucking <laughs> burger. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna beat you next game, watch. I need to think of a better strategy. What strategy? strategy? B, B Park, Park or, or Rainbow, Rainbow Road? Road. The, only, the only courses you have, you have a chance, chance of winning. winning. Okay. You mean, I win in? Alright, All right, do, do it. it. Wait, what, what are you picking? picking? Yeah, I accidentally picked uh, Mario Kart Stadium. Which, Which one do you want? want? Like, like Mario? Mario? No, no, do you, do you want, want Baby Park? Park? Yeah. Uh. Nope. Come on, first down. What y'all playing, Mario?
You're lucky the game doesn't want to hand you now. Family sounds like a bunch of bitches. Oh, great to know. Oh my god, you fucking no lifer already. With advanced trick shot. I had to hate you with 2.0. Oh, no. Touchdown! Fuck! Reliable mud coins. Make sure to check Let's out reliablecoins.com. Link in the description. Code CK for 10%. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. All good things must come to an end. Luckily for us, this is not the end of the series. I'm gonna do another one for the playoffs. But this should be right here is the stat leaders for the entire 20. You wanna play Mario Kart? Now we begin to lead first. I'm looking at CJ Mosley, the running back, to be a top 10 captain, and also have a sack at least one. <laughs> Why is fucking go with this shit outside? Who is this? Who, who we get on a roller coaster? Forty degrees. Preston Brown was also tied for the most tackles. It's a blessing. blessing. And oh yeah, so was Joe Schobel. Had to get Eric Weddle in that strong safety oh. man.